name. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Hello, beautiful people from all over the world. This is Justin from You Are Creators. And these are three things. Three things you need to stop saying or doing that may be stopping or halting your prosperity. Remember, prosperity is a frequency. It is a mindset. It is a vibration. When you attune yourself to the frequency of prosperity, you have no choice but to attract situations and people and opportunities that match that similar vibration. This is simply the law of attraction. This is a universal principle. Like energy attracts like energy. When you think thoughts of wealth, of prosperity, you begin to feel wealthy. And by feeling it, you begin to attract more like energy into your life. That's how the system works. But there are things you can say or do that stops the flow of prosperity to you. So here they are. One, stop saying, I can't afford it. When you say that, that you can't afford it, you are literally stopping the flow of money of prosperity to you because you are commanding the universe to follow that demand saying I can't afford it I can't have that remember you are completely unlimited you are a piece of the creator literally you are shaping this 3d dimension you are molding it with your consciousness with your emotions with your frequency your thoughts, your emotions, your words are somehow impacting this world that we see. So when you say that you can't afford it, that is a command. And the subconscious mind is listening. And what you say most often is what you get. Don't ever say you can't afford a thing because you really can. You are unlimited. We live in a multiverse of infinite possibilities whatever you can clearly visualize whatever you can clearly feel you can bring into physical manifestation don't ever say that you can't afford a thing because you really can and by saying that you can't you are cutting yourself off Two, stop saying I'm broke even jokingly the subconscious mind is picking that up as a command what you say is what you get Switch it up. Even if you are broke, don't say it. You must speak what you want as if you already have it. Instead of saying I'm broke, start saying I'm prosperous. It's, it's really that simple. The more you say it, the more you start to believe it. And what you believe creates your reality. When I first learned these laws, I stopped saying, man, I'm broke. I don't have any money. I started to only talk about what I wanted to manifest, what I wanted to have. So I changed my words from I'm broke to I have more than enough. I am abundant. I am wealthy, even when I didn't have it. Because I was reprogramming my thinking. I was restructuring my subconscious mind. And eventually, I successfully impressed these ideas. And opportunity started to come to me. And I took action to make sure that this became my reality. But first I put it out there. When you say I'm broke, you are putting that energy out into the universe. And based on the universal law of reaping and sowing, what you put out is what you get back into your life. It's really that simple. Stop saying it. Start speaking prosperity. Start speaking abundance. I can. I can afford this. I can have this. I deserve this. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am successful. I am a money magnet. I am prosperous. Last but not least, number three. This idea came from the great Reverend Ike. He says, don't ever say the word spend in regards to money. Because when you spend something, you get rid of it. You exhaust it. There is nothing left. Start saying, I use money. I circulate money. Because when you circulate something, it always comes right back. 
circulation means returning to point of origin. So start saying that you circulate money. I use money. I don't spend money. I circulate my money. I am abundant. I am a money magnet. Now, some of you may not like me talking about money. And I get it. I understand it. But I understand how this world works. This whole world, this structure we live in is, is ran and orchestrated by money. And if you do not have enough money to meet your needs, to pay your bills, life becomes very miserable. I don't understand why would you choose not to be abundant when you have an opportunity, when you understand how the world works, how the mind is literally creating our reality. Why wouldn't you choose prosperity? Why wouldn't you choose the finer things in life? Because you deserve it. You are magnificent. You are brilliant. You are a piece of the creator. You deserve all things magnificent. It's time for you to walk in it. Money isn't everything, no. But money is definitely something. Money can really change your life for the better. And not just your life, but your family's life and people around you. Money is a blessing. Money is a tool. Money is a tool that grants you freedom. Money gives you freedom. I was poor. Now that I'm rich, I can tell you, money gives you freedom. Money gives you options. Money is a beautiful thing, but it should be kept in this proper place. Money shouldn't be put over love, but money is important. And I'm trying to teach you and show you how to attract Enough of it or more than enough of it to live the life that you want to live. This is Justin from You Are Creators. I love you. If you haven't already, you can download my free apps, the Law of Attraction Library, and also the Affirmation Reminder. They are absolutely free in the Android and Apple app stores. Also, you can purchase my best selling books on Amazon. Links to purchase in the description. And one other thing, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Same name, You Are Creators. This is Justin from You Are Creators. I love you. You know it. And we support your dreams.